Hey folks, well, welcome once again to the Morris July 2023 Adventures Day 10. It's July the 10th, a fun day. It was the first full day, if you will, of uh, the ICC rally, the International Campers Club. Uh, it's the fifth, like I said last night, the 50th anniversary and we're at uh, uh, Whispering Hills, Jellystone Park in Big Prairie, Ohio. Um, a lot of fun today. Uh, they had a, uh, this morning we had our games, uh, and this afternoon, no, afternoon we had crafts, but anyway, uh, this morning we had, uh, horseshoes and we had, uh, ladder golf. So, uh, that was, uh, you know, the ladder golf was, was played by more individuals, but, um, and, and because we had more sets, oh, excuse me. Whereas the horseshoes, uh, we didn't really have a horseshoe pit. We just had the stakes in the ground, which the park gave us permission to do that, you know, because they knew they'd tear the grass up. But, um, you know, a lot of folks don't like the weight of the of the horseshoes and haven't played horseshoes. So, uh, but we still had, I think, uh, nine teams. I think it was maybe eight teams. Uh, but in ladder golf, we had like 14 teams. So it was... Uh, a good turnout and then this afternoon uh, we had the crafts uh, most of the ladies did the crafts the guys just sat around and talked and socialized and, and that kind of stuff um, but uh, all of that being said uh, you know this afternoon then uh, we had like I said the crafts and then we had the uh, the chapter uh, raffles and and all that so uh, selling of the goods so Thursday night at the closing ceremonies, I'll have the drawings for the raffles and the 50-50s and all that kind of stuff. Tonight was uh, potluck. Uh, oh, you know, it's 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 one of those things about potluck, <laughs> okay? Uh, you never know what you're going to get. But just like in a church potluck, if you go away hungry, it's your own fault because there was plenty of food, all right? plenty of food and uh, then of course uh, they had some cupcakes made by a local local Amish bakery here so that was good too uh, then we sat around the campfire some of us uh, played uh, played train domino game and uh, Christy and I just we just got in folks it's uh, uh, it's 1140 I think we got here uh, maybe 20 minutes ago and I had to get set up for the video, but, uh, you know, we played, uh, we started right around uh, a little after 8, just finished about 11.20, but it was fun. It was really fun. Uh, Kathy was saying it's been a long time uh, that they had, since they had played, and he said, well, you know, I think ours was the last time that we were together, too, so, you know, we definitely had a good time. Of course, we've known Kathy and Keith now for going on five years, uh, some good folks, uh, and they're the reasons why we're members of the ICC club, because they told us about it uh, at a uh, FMC International rally. So, anyway, good time, good fun, good games, good people. All right, that's that's the gist of today. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and I'm tired, as you can tell. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the word, okay? And and folks, it's it's a simple verse. Uh, very simple. All right. And, and, <coughs> anybody who has been around church for any denomination, Christian denominations, uh, know this, know this passage probably by heart. They probably learned it uh, when they were younger than five years old. Okay, but that's okay, because today's verse is Matthew six eleven. Give us this day our daily bread. Yeah, what are you talking about? Okay, what is he talking about? All right. You can take that that one verse and go in many different directions. Yeah, you can say, well, you know, give us 
Give us nourishment. Give us food. Okay, because that's what he's talking about. Give us this day our daily bread. But what kind of food is he talking about? All right. Yes, we could ask and give thanks for the physical food, the nourishment that we're taking for our bodies. All right. But also, and I think more importantly, and yes, you have to have food to survive. Okay, I understand that. But remember, not only did Christ, but many people in the scripture and many people around the world, uh, whether they be Christian or not, have fasted for more than 40 days. All right. Although Christ fasted for 40 days. So you can, you know, sustain a long time without food. But it says, give us this day our daily bread. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, folks. <clears throat> And what is he really talking about? You know, I don't think, and this is Jerry talking, all right? I don't think he's talking about just the physical food, you know, the hamburgers and french fries, the chicken fried steak or, or whatever, right? That's not what he's talking about. I think he's talking about our spiritual food. You know, give us this day of daily bread. Folks, it is so, so important. And I don't really care. Oh, maybe that is the wrong expression. I do care, but I'm not concerned about your belief on the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, the gifts of the Spirit, all that kind of stuff. But you must realize that the Holy Spirit is a real person. All right? And that's why it's so important that when you read your Bible, you pray also, and you ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and to reveal to you what you're reading and how it is applicable to you in one, where you are in, in your walk with Christ. Two, that day. What are you going through that day? You know, because... Cause, all of us have highs and lows, okay? Sometimes we're going down, sometimes we are down, sometimes we're going up, and sometimes we're on top of the mountain. We're all in different positions. And it's important, so very important, that you ask the Holy Spirit that give us this day our daily bread. You reveal to me, enlighten me, on what... God wants me to know about this scripture this day. Give us this day our daily bread. And you've heard me before. You can read a scripture, even this one. You can read a scripture today. And in two weeks, read the same scripture again. And the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to you something else. You know, for years... As we said, because this is part of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not, or lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For nine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We learned that. Five years or younger okay but this is an important part of that that prayer now you remember now you know the disciples they didn't pray before Christ so they had to ask if Christ teach us how to pray because remember they go to the temple they go to the synagogue and they're taught by the 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 the, the rabbis there okay they wasn't taught on how to pray to God. All right? That wasn't part of their teaching. That wasn't part of their upright. So they're saying, well, teach us how to pray. So this is what God, uh, Christ is doing right here. All right? And so when he says, give us this day our daily bread, he's talking about not just that physical nourishment, but the spiritual nourishment that we need as we walk. A daily walk with Christ. And how so important that is. Now I, I referenced the Holy Spirit. Okay. 
and, and many of you that have been in church realize it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right? And, and, and if you try to figure out the Trinity, you'll go bonkers. Okay? But if I can put it in the simplest of terms, there's God, there's God the Son, which is Christ, and there's God the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, Christ is nothing without the permission of God. All right? He talks about in in the Gospels. When he was in the garden, he says, let thy will be done. When he prays, you know, at, 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 at for different people, you know, he's praying that, you know, God, let this happen. All right? Many times in the scripture, it talks about him going away and praying to the Father for guidance, for direction, for uplifting and encouragement. Okay? And then God, the Spirit, God, the Holy Spirit, when Christ got ready to ascend into heaven, he says, I must go so that the Comforter, I will send a Comforter to you, but I must go first so he can come. All right? And that's what the Holy Spirit is, is our comforter, our guide, okay? Our helpmate, if you will, okay? And that's that's what I'm talking about here. When, you, when you're praying and, and you're reading the Bible, to ask the Holy Spirit to guide you because that's God's Spirit, all right? Remember now, I told you the other day, and I, 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 I tell you many days, many times, that when Christ died and said it's finished, you know, that curtain at the Holy of Holies was ripped in two. And now we can go boldly to the Father. So that's what I'm saying. You know, when you're praying, ask this ask the Holy Spirit. You know, say, God, you know, send your spirit and, and, and to, to guide me and, and let me know. Give me this day, my daily bread. Do the Holy Spirit enlighten me, nourish my soul, nourish my spirit, and enrich me. As only you can. So see, folks, today's scripture is, is much more than just a little a little prayer, you know, about our physical food. It's give us this day our daily bread. Every day we need to be asking God for guidance, direction, comfort, whether it be on the high celebrating or going down into the depths of the valley and having troubles and tribulations and troubles and, and tribulations and trials, you know, hold fast to your belief. Hold fast to your faith. Be steadfast. I told you yesterday, be steadfast in your faith and belief and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Okay? So today's scriptures. Matthew six eleven. Give us this day our daily bread. And folks as you know, I don't close my video without a, you know, a prayer. Okay. Some folks call it an altar call, and that's fine by me. All right. But if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, if you don't have the feeling that you can call upon the Father and ask Him for help and direction, then please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, forgive me for I have sinned. Forgive me for I am a sinner. Take the blood that Christ shed for me on that cross, Father, and just cleanse me. Wash me through his blood that I may be worthy of the gift of your Son who became my sacrifice on the cross. He gave his life that I may be grafted into your family that I may be a Christian, that I may be a believer in you, and that I may dwell in your presence forever and ever, on earth and in heaven, O oh Lord, I pray. Forgive me again, I ask. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And folks, if you said that prayer, and you mean it sincerely, just get into your word, 
find you a church that you're comfortable with because not every church is for everybody. That's why there's different denominations. But just remember this. Make sure that church you're going to teaches Christ crucified and resurrected. That's the bottom line. Because without Jesus Christ, without accepting Him as your Savior, there is no heaven. All right? Tell a friend that you know is a Christian and tell them that you just gave your heart to Christ. Ask them to help you. Ask them to help you find a church. Ask them to help you when you're with your Bible readings. And read your Bible every day. And pray every day. Every day. All day long if you have to. Then you say, well, I can't do that. I got a job. Well, yeah, but you know what? You can pray in your mind. You can be walking down that warehouse or on that line doing something, assembling something or working, plowing the field, whatever. And you can just say, Lord, thank you. Lord, give me strength. Lord, I love you. You know, and the best thing is, hey, Dad, thanks. I love you. You know, God wants to hear that from us, too. All right. Hey, God willing, we'll come to you again tomorrow night. Hopefully not quite so late, but probably will be. All right. Until then, God bless. Good night.